I S U P K. Responsibility, you shouldn't be a politician in the first place. 
Okay. You know, because, you know, you want to do something else. And at that time, do you know who the politician was or were there any uh, people of our, was it our people no, or was it the tell. other people? I couldn't you tell. You couldn't tell. I couldn't tell. So you said the politicians is responsible. You hold them responsible for oh, it. That's what they did that. they did that, why do you think they did that? Why do you think they would do this, that to this community? Why? I mean, it could be a few reasons. It could be a, you know, it could be a few reasons. You know, you know, it always has to do with who's in the office and who represents who. You know, like take for instance what's going on with the country right now. This is not the first time we've had a racist person as a president. It's not the first time. Okay, but this is the, pretty much the first time he's just letting it fly out his mouth. You know, so it's basically just like this. We know what we're dealing with. We know exactly what we're doing. So, what's the whole point? How do you battle that? How do you fight that? You know, because as wisdom teachers, we all fools at first, and the wisdom don't kick in until we get up. Okay? So, if there's a solution to a lot of this, what's going on is, and it doesn't happen how it used to back in the day, the younger generations need to start tapping into these old folks' heads. Because, you, because as far as solving a lot of this stuff, a lot of old people will know how to solve it because they've already been through it. So they can bring on the solution. But, but you, as, far, as far as the why, you just really don't, you know, because a lot of times, you know, you can in order, you got to know why. Sometimes, like, you got to know who your enemy is and who, who you're fighting against. So if you, you know what I'm saying, we ain't able to tell the people, like, this people did this to you to you in this community because this was a strong black community and they trying to keep black folks down. But they don't understand that they just think like, oh, it was a coincidence. You know what I'm saying? But you said like you don't really yeah. think it was it was intentional to destroy this well, community. No, I won't no, I wouldn't say that. Look, no. Anywhere there's a township, a village or whatever, and you bulldoze and put something straight through, you know everybody's getting affected. Okay, you might, that's one thing you gotta get out your head. You're affecting people, you're affecting the environment. You're affecting the spiritual energy that runs through the place. You're changing earth. You understand on the many levels of what you're doing. Okay, if you have that type of understanding, you're even careful walking through grass because you don't want to kill that. Man, I appreciate you know? it. Hey, no, so, I appreciate you, man. So it's like, that's just basically what it is. That's why I hold politicians at such a high standard. If you don't want to be a politician and you want to do that, then don't do that because you have shit like this to answer for. Oh, yeah. yeah. Appreciate you, man. That's all I'm saying. Oh, no, thank <laughs> you. We do it like this. Dab it up for me, man. Thank you, I appreciate y'all. Thank you. Sister, what's your name? Sharon. Hey, we got a sister, Sharon, right here. She's going to answer some, uh, ask, uh, do a little quick interview with us. And we just want to know, what do you know about uh, this celebration that's going on today? So, what I know about Rondo is the old community. There used to be a lot of black businesses along St. Right. Anthony okay. and Concordia. And when they put in 94, they moved a lot of the homes into black businesses. Okay. So it's like when they put the freeway through, it just ripped the vein out of the community. Okay. That's what I know. And that's what I kind of saw. Right. I remember when it was just dirt down there and they had tore up the, um, the freeway wasn't in there. So it was just dirt and mud and Rondo used to be healed and went, it was very steep. It went all the way down to the university. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, right. uh, second question. Um, who do you hold responsible for destroying this, this community like that? Destroying the community like that? Yeah. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. White folks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, hey, wife, hey I, pre I appreciate it. All right, then the last question is, uh, why do you think they did that? Oh. They did that to divide the community. And then um, I remember even one year, they came through the community and marked all the trees with a red circle going around and talking about they had Dutch Am disease because I think they just wanted to see what was actually going on in the community. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. so that's the right. Yeah. So you think, I, I appreciate that. So they just wanted to destroy this community. So I appreciate you, sister. Thanks a lot. All right. If you want to see this, you can go on ISUPK Minneapolis and to see the interviews once you get them posted up, okay? Okay. But thank y'all. Y'all enjoy all the rest right. of your day. You as well. Yeah. What's your name, sis? Cassandra Joe. I got my sister Cassandra here. She's gonna um, ask a few questions about this um, event there we at, okay? All right, sis, thank you for uh, interviewing with us today. Um, I just want to know, what do you know about why are we celebrating this event today? We're Rondo, we celebrate Rondo because this used to be the grounds where all the black people used to have their businesses, their stores, and their houses. Back 60, 70, 80 years ago, 
all the black people primarily live in this area. That's where our black owned businesses was and everything. And then we celebrated it because what happened, they come and they brought the, um, the freeway through and when they saw how we were thriving and we weren't impoverished, they came and brought a wrecking ball through and wrecked up our black community. Thank you, sister. Man, that's real powerful. I appreciate that. Okay. So the next question is, who do you hold responsible for coming through like that and destroying this community? Well, I hold, um, really, the white power structure is what was responsible for doing that because what happened is the white people, they lived all out in the farm area. And see, when the farming industry started going down, they had to find a way to get back here into the inner cities because you had to run in water, the running lights and everything like that. So the white power structure saw that we was building up our community and when they saw that we was trying to build up and get ourselves out of poverty, they wanted to come knock all of that down. Yeah, thank you, sis. I appreciate that. And my last and final question, why do you think they did that? Well, they did that mainly because when we pulled together as a community, they see that we're strong and then what they see is that we don't have to go to them to get our hair care. We don't have to go get our cars worked on by them. We don't have to go to their restaurants. We can go to our own. But now they did that so that everything we need in life, we got to go through either the Asian or the white man to get it. Yeah, so I get it, sister. Hey, man. Hey, Moza, I appreciate you, sis. That was a man. Thank you, sister. Say your name one more time. It's the truth. Thank you, thank you, sister. All right, man. All right, so that's Cassandra. Y'all take care. Y'all hear here, man. You know what I'm saying? The white man is the devil. That the Bible speaks of, man. All right. And I got my young brother right here, man. What's your name? Scooby. Say it again. Scooby. Scooby right here, man. He's gonna uh, do some interview, do an interview for us about what's going on in this community. All right. So uh, my first question for you, brother, is what do you know about the uh, uh, this celebration and why they celebrating this today? Uh, my grandma told me it's uh, like black communities coming together from all, all from Shelby and in the Rondo area. That's what that's what I hear from. You know, my grandma. I mean, I feel like I've been coming to this since I was young. You feel okay. me? Tiger Jack. You know, like a lot of beneficial people that came from St. Paul. That's what I'm saying. That's what I know, as far as I know. Okay, do you know anything about uh, what, um, uh, who was responsible for destroying this uh, great community? Uh, shit, I mean, white, I mean, not white people, but shit, police and everything else. I mean, I feel like gentrification, I feel like it's gentrification. They try to gentrify, you know what I'm saying? They try to gentrificate this, everything. Right, you say, you say the way, you say the police, you know, yeah, yeah, police. ain't no wrong with saying, you know what I'm saying, the saying the white man, you know what I'm saying? I mean, the police, you know? <laughs> I'm looking off a gang task right now. <laughs> All right, man, I appreciate that. So, the last thing, man, why do you feel like they did that to this man? Man, man, black people unite, man. You can't, you can't, you can't break black people unite, you know? Okay. Here. Hey, I appreciate that, brother. Right. You have a good one, man. So we trying something else. You know what I'm uh, this, this is working for me. And since I didn't came and got with these brothers, man, my life has been like this. You know what I'm saying? Not all that up and down. I'm on, fall off, got to get back. Got to kick those, got to hit a lick. No more of that shit, man. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's all like this. You know what I mean? It's good to meet y'all, brother. Man, y'all enjoy the rest of y'all day. Hey, hit that number if y'all want to get out, man. Definitely going to take y'all out.